Okay, here we are at the Amarillo, Texas uh, KOA, and right out there are prairie dogs. Can you believe that right here in this great big field is another prairie dog city? They're everywhere there. Right behind us here is uh, an airport, obviously uh, a very active airport, and train tracks behind us on this side. Amarillo KOA. Yesterday when we came in here, what, sometime around one o'clock or so, it was snowing and it snowed the rest of the day, but it wasn't quite cold enough for it to set in and, and stick. So we got to see the snow all day, but it didn't stick on the ground. And right now it's about 43 degrees here. Okay, so we're getting ready to leave the KOA to go on our first adventure in Amarillo. Yes, and you'd probably be able to guess where we're going considering all the opportunities that Amarillo has for tourists. But, but we're going to give you one clue. You ready? Yeah. See if you can guess. I think you got you it. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Here we go. Rock and roll. <laughs> hey, Linda, we're right here at our destination. Would you like to uh, explain what we're doing and where we're at? We are at world-famous Cadillac Ranch, and we're getting ready to go out there and add to the artwork. Come on, let's go. Let's go. There's Linda, the world-famous Cadillac Ranch. This is right outside of Amarillo. This is truly is a sight to behold. Potatoes. No, it's not. A, it's a heart. No, it's a heart. <laughs> it's not a big potato. It's not a big potato. <laughs> okay, I'm doing that one too. Oh, right, here she comes. She's coming around. She's leaving her mark. There's the wheel. The wheel has got a heart on it already, but look how much paint is on it. <laughs> Can't even recognize it. Right, we're on the underside, but it looks like I'm going to call this a 56. 56 Cadillac. Are you ready? We're doing it. Keep on with it. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. This is going to be my greatest creation.
we uh, hike, we've been riding around a bit and just kind of checking the canyon out. So we're having my favorite lunch, which is Lunchables. Lunchables. So, um, Terry, what do you think about the canyon so far? This is, this is, you know, it's amazing. We were on to the Grand Canyon, which is obviously much bigger than this, but you don't have the ability just to get in your car and drive to the bottom of it like you can here. This trail that's that's in front of us, there's three trails that go out from this trailhead here, and they're the most popular ones in the thing. So I'm looking at the parking lot here, and there are license plates in front of us from Virginia, from New Mexico, from New York, Pennsylvania. Uh, there's one obviously from Florida. <laughs> uh, South Carolina. I mean, people are, are coming from a good ways to see what we're seeing here today. It's it's really amazing. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I can't, I just can't even get over it. Um, it's just absolutely breathtaking. And the difference in this and the Grand Canyon for me is the how close you can get. I mean, we are so close to everything right now. And I can't wait to start um, walking because we're even going to get closer. Okay, so we're going to tell you what we're getting ready to do. We're going to a restaurant tonight. We're going to the Big Texan. Only two things in Amarillo you have to do. You have to see the Cadillac Ranch. We've done that. You have to go and eat at the Big Texan. So we're on our way. What's the truth about it, Linda? We're waiting on our ride. No, we're not driving. Ooh. We're going by limousine. Limousine. So we're going to film it when the limousine gets here. It's picking us up at our campsite. Oh yeah, no spare, spare no expenses. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're gonna film it when it gets here. Y'all just wait. Y'all just wait. <laughs> here comes our limo to take us uh, out to dinner. The finest for us. just got seated at Big Texan and we haven't even looked at the menu but we got seated right next to the table so they have a deal here they have a deal that if you order the 72 ounce steak it comes with baked potato, um, shrimp cocktail, a roll, a what? Salad. Salad. And um, 
if a drink maybe or something. Yeah. If you order that and you can eat it all, every bit of it, in one hour, you get it for free. And that's where people sit, right where uh, Terry panned over. That's what the timers are. That's what the timers are for. If you can do it in one hour, it's free. Otherwise, it's seventy-two dollars. So we're sitting right next to that table. So we will come back and show you later if anyone starts to do it, and we'll let you know. We'll also show you what we ordered once we figure it out. Cheesy potatoes, and I had the tomato and onion salad. Linda has a 12 ounce sirloin, uh, excuse me, a 12 ounce ribeye, and spicy Tex Mex corn, cream corn. And she had a salad. Looks delicious. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Okay, while we are finishing up our meal, there is a guy that has decided to take the challenge. So they have given him his food. They haven't started the timer yet, but he is sitting up there. Here comes his steak. Okay, that was our experience with the Texas Panhandle and the uh, Amarillo area, including Canyon, Texas. As far as that uh, big Texan steakhouse, believe it or not, in 2016, the record was set for eating that meal. A young lady named Molly from Nebraska, a 120-pound uh, housewife, came in there and ate three of those meals. 14 and a half pounds of steak, three potatoes, three salads, three rolls, three shrimp cocktails, and she did it in under 20 minutes. Believe it or not. Go Molly. <laughs> <laughs> we really hated to leave Texas. Um, we had re sort of redone our itinerary because of the weather and the COVID restrictions in uh, parts of the Southwest, but we really ended up really liking Texas. and. Part of the reason was the people, the wide open spaces, and one of the cool things that I noticed was the people fly the um, Texas flag, individuals fly the Texas flag, and I noticed that and mentioned it to Terry, and of course, being traveling and being married to a history guy helps because he explained the reason to me, which made me really kind of understand the people of Texas and love it even more, so that was really cool. So, we're on to other places. Texas rocks, but we're moving on. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Later.